Okay, this is just a quick video. Um, <clears throat> I'm not very happy. Um, actually, a little, a little scared about this. This is my Hornady Electronic Digital Scale. There, I'm sorry, I upset it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to hit zero here, and uh, this thing could have uh, really, really ruined my day earlier. I'm trying to trickle charge out uh, powder for some 380. Uh, ammunition and I'm supposed to hit 1.8 grains uh, as a starting load and off to the side over here I have uh, an RCBS it doesn't matter what brand it is but that's what it is mechanical scale but I've really been enjoying using the electronic scale for slowly metering out powder charges I'm supposed to like I said hit 1.8 grains now this has been on I know some people say well you've got to leave them on for 10 15 20 minutes to warm up this has been on for about two hours now just sitting here just waiting and this is what I was seeing and that as I trickle the powder in it'll hit point one. Oh, it went to point zero. wait what oh, oh point zero again and still oh, point one. Oh, back to point zero. Point zero. still at point zero. Oh, point one. Oh, point zero. and I just trickle the powder in here and it keeps going back to zero and I'm not sure what the hell is going on so I sat here and I carefully trickled out a charge earlier for one of my 380 shells. The very first one, I was just, I thought I'd trickle charge it, be very careful, get it precise, and see how it performed in the firearm here. And I finally got this darn thing to register 1.8, and I poured it in the shell, and the casing was almost full. I'm like, that can't be right. So then I measured it with my mechanical over there and found that I was at actually about 3.5 grains. Now, the maximum according to my reload data on this is 2. Eh, it may be conservative, I don't know. But if a damn sure isn't 3.5, notice that now it's finally with a pile of powder. It's finally coming up. There we are, 1.9. Close enough, okay? So, I'll take this. I'll put it into a different vessel. This is the tray off the RCBS. Okay, whatever. Put this back on here and watch what happens. Oh, wait a minute. It shows that I'm at four grains. Now, you saw at the beginning, I was at zero grains. I, there's nothing, nothing in here. Okay? Nothing. Yes? Nothing. But yet, this indicates that I'm at, oh, now 3.9 grains. Inconsistent piece of shit. Now, this is the powder charge. Put that back in there. One point nine. What? Okay. One point nine grains. Four specks of powder. Dump it back into the other one. Back up here. Shows them at four. Let's zero that now. Five point nine grains, it says, if we believe it. But it's for damn sure a lot more than one point eight, which is what my target was. If I actually try to pour this into a three eighty casing, which this one's spent, but let's just do that just for the heck of it. You might or might not be able to see that I have a pile of powder left to go and that I am out of room. I'm not sure if this will show. I don't know what the problem is with this. This is only a three months old, if that. I've only used it maybe a dozen times. I haven't dropped it, kicked it, shot it, haven't done anything to it. But it's not bloody working. And it's a damn sure good thing, because I, I completed this sh a shell earlier, and then I later separated it with a bullet puller and measured the charge and came up with 3.5 grains instead of 1.8. Now, I'm really sensitive about this, because in 1997, I met a guy in California who was in a wheelchair for life because he claimed that he bought a firearm at a pawn shop, and he the first time he took it to the range, the firearm came apart. I had... He says it was tested out. I assume that he used the right bullets. Doesn't matter what. But a chunk of steel came back off of that gun, went through his neck, and set enough of his spinal column that it put him in a wheelchair for life. So I'm really sensitive about this kind of crap. And this piece of equipment isn't doing its damn job. And I'm not sure why. But it's something you need to be careful of and, and, and cognizant of. And I think the mechanical 
probably is a better way to go. It is slower for sure, but when you're trickle charging a per shot charge, it actually is a, is actually, I prefer this. Um, I like the way it slowly comes up instead of the latency and readout that I get with my digital. But after this, I'm not sure I'm ever going to trust that for anything ever again. I'm maybe I'm maybe on the low end of its scale. Maybe I need to do some reading in the instruction manual. Maybe it's not supposed to be measuring trickle charges, but doesn't matter. I tried it. Other people might try it too, which is why I'm going to put this on, on YouTube. Just be careful with this. You need to be cognizant that there is a danger that this thing may inaccurately measure charges and you may massively overcharge one of your rounds. So be safe.